Chinese are constantly interfering in the domestic politics of Nepal. Nepal has now decided to ban Indian news channels except Doordarshan in the country. This is the latest update coming in from Nepal this time. We're at a time when the Chinese are constantly interfering in the domestic politics of Nepal. Nepal has now decided to ban the Indian news channels except Doordarshan. We'll go across to Shavan as well as Abhishek joining us live at this point. Shavan, over to you. Well, in fact, uh, let us also bring in Abhishek who's getting us uh, details uh, with regards uh, to this uh, decision that has been taken. What appears at this point in time that this is not a decision that has been taken by the government, perhaps by the cable operators. If Abhishek is already there, uh, we could take this with Abhishek for the latest. Well, uh, Shavan, you know, uh, Nepal government's spokesperson, uh, Yobaraj Khatiwara, he was addressing a press conference earlier in the day. And uh, in that, uh, he said that the manner in which uh, the developments in Nepal have been covered, co covered by the Indian media, the private news channels, uh, they are mulling some legal action and possibly, uh, to use his words, uh, 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 he said that uh, we can contemplate some action which could include some legal action against Indian news channels. Uh, following which, it seems that uh, uh, by evening, uh, the Nepal uh, operators, uh, essentially the multi-system operators, the cable operators, they have decided to pull off all the Indian news channels, private news channels, uh, uh, from uh, their uh, cable networks. Uh, I am reading actually a report uh, uh, in, 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 a, in, a, in, in a Nepali news uh, outlet, uh, online news outlet, which says that after uh, the press conference by the Nepali government uh, spokesperson uh, Yobaraj Khatiwara, uh, Prime Minister's foreign relations advisor Rajan Bhattarai has tweeted saying that the news coming from Indian media against our PM and government publication of a uh, new map is condemnable. And uh, this is again a government spokesperson uh, in the sense that he is a foreign relations advisor to the Prime Minister. And apart from that, uh, uh, there is uh, Bishnu Rimal, who is chief political advisor of the Prime Minister, who has also come out openly against Indian media coverage. Now, what was this Indian media coverage? This was about the Chinese ambassador uh, in, in, in uh, Nepal, Hu Yanqi. Uh, who has been very active over the last uh, one week or fortnight uh, in terms of trying to uh, keep the only government afloat despite uh, the problems, internal differences and leadership issues uh, and governance issues uh, uh, within the leaders uh, of, of the Communist Party of Nepal. Uh, essentially, the Prachanda camp and the Oli camp. Uh, uh, Chinese ambassador has uh, gone and met Oli. Chinese ambassador has gone and met the president of Nepal, Vidya Devi Bhandari. Chinese ambassador has gone and met uh, former prime minister of Nepal, uh, Madhav Nepal. And uh, today, in fact, uh, 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 she met uh, Pushpa Kumar Dahal, alias Prachanda. So she is trying to bring together these uh, various factions of the Communist Party and trying to keep the only government which has taken a very open uh, anti-India stance uh, afloat. So I think the Indian media coverage was essentially about uh, Nepalese, uh, uh, and not Nepalese, essentially K.P. Sharma Oli, the Prime Minister, playing into the hands of Chinese. And uh, we covered uh, uh, the engagements of uh, the Chinese ambassador in Kathmandu in a manner to show that maybe these things to these two things could be connected. So I believe uh, there is nothing wrong in it. But then uh, uh, Prime Minister Oli has taken a very confrontationist stand against India. Uh, we have seen how uh, even uh, some uh, boundary disputes have arisen which were not there earlier. Uh, in, in Bihar, at least at two points, including one in Sitamari, uh, the Nepalese police has stopped some constructions uh, which were needed uh, uh, for, uh, for uh, uh, you know, flood control as flood control measures because they said that this is a disputed area or this is a buffer zone, or this is a no man's land, and uh, of course the, the issue of map uh, uh, is, is, is already there. So I think uh, this is nothing but the only government trying to really ratchet up the tempers. Uh, hopefully, better sense would prevail. And as I said, this is in the midst of uh, a very intense. Uh, uh, legal leadership struggle that is going on uh, within the Communist Party of Nepal, uh, the end of which perhaps we would see over the next one week.